graduation point. It is relatable, and I, and I just love, you know, and, and again, like I've always uh, admired your stand-up comedy. I love stand-up, and when I when I uh, watch you, just the whole craft. Uh, whenever I watch a comedian who knows what they're doing, I think nobody, and I've done amateur nights. I'm not sure if you've ever seen any yep. of the stuff I've done in, in the sense that, for me, and it you've, was, you've hosted. Yeah, at I've, the I've been shop. very lucky, and, and laugh shops give me opportunities to, to come and host some 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 names there. And um, you know, they when I just show up and I never get there, you happen to be there. It's a great. I'm like uh, last time I was there, and they're like Jeb's here. I'm like this is the greatest t- thing ever. But the the fact of the matter, as far as I'm concerned, that's skydiving to me because there's no more in the world creative medium than. This is you. This is your material. What pretty do you raw. Hide? You might hide behind a mic stand. You have to be pretty thin to hide behind that thing. Um, but it, it's you. Like you don't get you don't get better than that. So you know what you've done is in, incredible. I know it's not a roast for and you. And really, but you know what? And the um, the more personal you make it, yeah. the more it makes it impossible for people to steal. That's a good point. Yeah. Like, well, you didn't do that. How can you talk about yeah. that? I mean, I had, when I was working the cruise ships, lots of stuff about the cruise ships. And now you're on this radio show and you've got all of these guests that are just tools. Yeah, no, absolutely. Not tools. Not, not, yeah, no. But useful product. To, yeah, you know that you could take to the stage if you want to do it again. Well, and that's well, you know, and it's funny because um, uh, when uh, you know Matt at the Laugh Shop has called me in the past, it's been sometimes, and uh, you, you know, to a certain extent, I know it. I'm the TV guy. You were the comedian who yeah. who does his thing and does TV on the side. I'm the TV guy, and, and maybe I'll mention it on the air. And I understand the cross promotion aspect, but I very much appreciate it. And what really got me was he called me a couple of years ago. I don't know, the pandemic, maybe it was 15 years ago. Um, yeah. Polly Shore was coming to town. He goes, you want to you help us out with some hosting? I can give you five minutes on, uh, you know, do five to seven or eight, whatever. You go. And he was just really generous. And I thought, well, I haven't, you know, last time I, I wrote something was when Prince died, and that was uh, two and a half years ago. And and my wife goes, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I'm going to stay and stay up and write all night and get some stuff together. And that that gauntlet, like you say, you're just pulling stuff, and there's it's no better cramming for an exam ever than that because who's going to pay if it, if it fails it's you <laughs> yeah oh yeah but I, I've, I i've appreciated it but to your point yeah life and that's one of the things about the radio program is you prep all you want uh but as you know working with radio guys in the past talk radio we do our homework the best we can we have the best team we can but you saw the fm guys leaving it um, 8.55, 8.57 in the morning yeah left that last song they're done but <laughs> i read an article and they say the life experience is what is what makes you unique, and that's the same with the stand-up that you've you've crafted. And these outrageous things happen to you, but I think that they might happen to everybody, but they just don't notice. Well, I would be willing to bet some of the things that have happened to me have not happened to everybody. <laughs> I'd agree. I'd agree. Might be a little of my own doing. <laughs>